just one simple symbol, but it talks about side blow, which means victim is the powerless one and the powerless one will, will suffer the pain later. Ever since pandemic started, the Asian hate crime increased like extensively and as a composer, I felt a great passion to address this issue and the emotional abuse and gaslighting, manipulation going on in our community. As a white male, if you're kind of part of the cohort in general that is responsible for this violence, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And part of our process, from my point of view, is for me to spend time somebody who deeply understands and is affected by the issue and then channel that into the visual piece that I will then create with her. I brought this flat but grayscale piece. This is a kind of a style I thought we could use as a kind of a basis mm -hmm. because if you make it too dark it looks mm -hmm. too dark. Right. You know. Right. So if you see if we could take something like this and then create something like this and then gradually colour it in as kind of the damage or whatever, and then create some kind of video piece out of that in it. But it's right, getting there. I see. It's yes. got something. Mm -hmm. We met at Bethany Arts Community, and we just loved both of our works. You know, when you talk to somebody from another discipline who's covering the same themes, especially when they're challenging, it's not just rewarding, it's like kind of validates what you do yourself. Andre works to blur the boundaries of gender. It's sort of like the body figure, but it's kind of ambiguous. As a visual artist as well, you want to challenge people. And when, when I heard your work, you know, immediately, <laughs> you know this is not going to be an easy listen, right? <laughs> This is the kind of music that I kind of connect to because it, it has sounds and movement. I felt myself on a wave of this emotion that was going through it. This is challenging music. This is the picture on the side. And then we're gonna like illustrate an unprovoked attack which will appear in a pixelated form which will appear slowly. I always want to talk about social justice and you are so ready to have a conversation with me. I am collecting photos of my friends' faces and Andre will manipulate. A portrait of an Asian woman who is then abused in an Asian hate crime. How am I going to present this? Society doesn't want to admit this and see it's happening. So I'm going to use my pixelation techniques to create a, a video piece an end result might not look like someone's yeah, exactly. face, but as a totality, everyone's face will be there as yeah. a little part. Yeah. You know, you walk in that line trying to engage people, you can scare them off and then they won't even engage with their work and then you go and challenge them. The general day is just two people living in a house together, right? <laughs> talking about this very important topic. It's like a reflection time. Where? We have this solid base. We totally understand what the project is about. We have this time to completely talk through the issues and what we really want to achieve. It's incredibly peaceful. That kind of environment leads you to there's the conversations where you're having very natural interaction and some idea is starts flowing from that. 